This chapter, talking about subtracting mentally, has a couple of different strategies, one of which is to make a 10. Now, in addition, we talk about uh, problems like 9 plus 5 and adding 1 to the 9 and taking 1 from the 5. If you take 1 from the 5 and add it to the 9, 10 plus 4 is going to get you the same answer as 9 plus 5, but this one's easier to solve in your head. So instead of counting from 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, being able to see numbers and being able to change them as needed to correctly get the answer is a very important skill. Now in subtraction it's different because if you have 14 minus 9 you can't just take one from uh, take one and give to the other. No, in subtraction you'll notice that making a 10 is adding one to both. If you add one to both then 15 minus 10 is easy. The answer is 5. 14 minus 9 will get you the same thing because the difference between 15 and 10 and the difference between 14 and 9 is the same. Just as 13 and 8 is the same. 12 minus 7 is 5. 1 less, 11 minus 6 is 5. And 1 less, 10 minus 5, very easy to do in your head, is has a difference of 5. So instead of only knowing the standard algorithm, 14 minus 9, where you borrow from the 10s and you give it to the 1s, you can simply know how to make a 10 that's easier to work with. Now, when you get into larger numbers, it's the same standard, it's the same skill, I mean, just with larger numbers, so don't let too many numbers fool you. 140 minus 129 might be difficult to do in your head, but if you consider adding 1 to this number, to 129, 140 minus 130 is really easy. Now take your time with this one. You, this can become easy if you practice. 140 minus 129 is 10, just like this is, but the difference is one more. So if you see 140 minus 129 and you see it as 140 minus 130 minus 1, then these numbers are, these subtraction problems can be solved mentally in your head. And you can check by counting up from 129, count up to 130, that's plus 1, and count up to 140, that's plus 10. So you get your 11 no matter what mental strategy you use. 223 minus 100 is easy, that's 123. But if you're going to subtract by a, a, a difficult looking number, like 99, don't forget that the difference between 223 minus 100 and the difference of 223 minus 99, the diff they're only one number apart. So the answer that you're looking for is only going to be one more. The difference of 223 minus 99 is 124, which is the same as 123 with an extra one. So, again, these strategies are not going to be learned overnight. Please take your time with them. Revisit this video. Revisit the other strategies for subtracting. Revisit the work, the homework. And work on this throughout the year. And it will benefit you in the long run.